Now here's a story that you won't find anywhere else tonight. In 2011, Kenya made a bold move deploying its forces in Somalia after a series of kidnappings in the coastal region, mainly targeting foreign tourists. The mission, dubbed Operation Linda Nchi, was aimed at taking the war to the enemy territory, a tactic employed to ensure that all the Al-Shabaab insurgencies were hit at their base in Ras Kamboni. Ten years down the line, how is it like? Our reporter Halid Abdullahi visited Somalia and brings us this report. Doble, Somalia. We touched down at the KDA forward operating base. It is almost 10 years since the Kenya Defense Force entered Somalia in an operation that was aimed at making Kenya safe by keeping the Al Shabaab terror gang at bay. The situation remains relatively stable, though complex. We joined the Kenya Defense Forces in Sector 2. The troops are headed to Doble Town for their daily patrol. But first, we gear up. The journey to Doble Town begins inside this armored personnel carrier. Locals welcome the armored personnel cars. To them, this is a sigh of relief, a sign of protection, knowing just too well what it means to be a target of a terror group. Ordinarily, this would scare you. The peace or peace of Somali lies with its own people and Somali security forces. Amisom cannot afford to be here forever. At a certain point in time, we have to exit and leave those responsibility to Somali people. The troops make a stop at a local hospital to donate milk dispensers to a local women group. In the last year, they have trained some midwives. Currently, now they are in the hospital, some are outside the town, other places, under the mentorship. That's the main option that now, even now, we want to train another group of midwives. The journey continues. We have seen expansion and growth of businesses. Afmago, when we ventured here in 2010, 2011, had a population of 1,500 people. Currently, we are talking of a town with over 20,000 people. Since the KDF incursion, businesses have registered robust growth, improving the social economic well-being of locals. The last around 10 years he has been here and uh, everything has been going good uh, since, uh, since the inception of the army Somia and the security has been well. Uh, lorries have been coming to transport uh, things, people have been increased and the business is okay now. Memories paint a picture of a devastated economy, but all this is now history. The KDA forces include gallant women in a special unit technically known as female engagement team involved in securing Doble Somalia. The KDF women troops role is mainly anchored in peace building. The special unit which undertakes patrols and is credited with protecting women and children. They visit villages ensuring all is in order. As the female soldiers under Amisom 10, we are, we are here so that we can be able to reach out to these women with ease because uh, the male cannot be able to reach out to them. Therefore, uh, our main role is just to lead, to be the link to these women. KDF is now manning sector 2 of Somalia, which is under Loa and Middle Juba. It is beautiful story of restoration and hope 10 years down the line.